guys, welcome back. It is week two of the Trick or to Readathon. Technically, it's not the first day of week two. Today is Tuesday, October 6th. Today, I plan to start reading The Shadow of the Wind after the sun has set, so like 6.30 because the sun sets really early in the fall. So um, I have the urge to change up my TBR. Somebody needs to make me not do this. I need to stop changing my TBR, but as I've said before, I am literally the biggest mood reader. I bought The Darkest Minds yesterday from Half Price Books, and now I want to read The Darkest Minds. Anyways, I will hopefully have some actual reading updates in my next update, so keep an eye out for that. I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, it is Wednesday evening. Anyways, okay, I started reading Shadow of the Wind last night. I didn't get a chance to read very much of it. I only read about 30 pages. Um, wish I could have read more though, because do you ever just like start a book and immediately know it's going to be five stars? Like you literally cannot put it down. This book is already amazing. I'm literally 30 pages into it and I can already tell it's gonna be such a good, okay. I'm going to hesitate before I say stuff like this now because Mexican Gothic, I started reading and I was like, wow, I'm gonna love this book, but then it, I didn't love it. So I'm crossing my fingers. I really hope I love this book, but as of right now, I already like it so much better. Like I'm already so intrigued and so interested in the story, what's going on. The writing style is beautiful. I would not change a thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love reading it. It's so like, I'm not gonna say it's lyrical, but it's very beautiful writing. And it's a floppy paperback and uh, oh my gosh. I wish I could have read more last night, but I was so tired and it was already like 1.30 because college. Anyways, um, so I haven't had the chance to, I'm holding this backwards. I haven't had the chance to read anything today because I've been doing school stuff all day. Um, I am just stress eating spicy Cheez-Its, which I didn't know were a thing, but apparently Cheez-Its have spice now. So um, that's yum. This is what they look like for, for reference. This is what they look like. Anyways, that's my little update. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the future. eating seaweed for the first time and um it's interesting it's not bad it's actually kind of good I didn't like it I think I had it like once a long time ago and I didn't like it but I'm having it now and it kind of tastes like I'm just eating the ocean but in a good way I don't know I just wanted to update you guys on my um seaweed snacking tendencies Hey guys, it is Friday afternoon, October 9th. I haven't done much vlogging for the past few days because I haven't done much reading for the past few days. I've mostly just been reading before bed, um, which brings me to my next point. I am on page 102 of The Shadow of the Wind. It's very good so far. I'm definitely enjoying it a lot more than I enjoyed Mexican Gothic by this point. A lot more has happened. I am very intrigued. I want to know who this mysterious figure is. But anyways, back to my point, I am making an executive decision. So as you may remember, I chose The Shadow of the Wind as my book for the werewolf prompt, which means that I was supposed to read it exclusively at night, which so far I have read it exclusively after dark. But as I said, today is Friday. Um, it is very rainy outside today and it's going to be raining all day, which hasn't happened in a little while. So um, I haven't had very many rainy days where I'm actually free to read and I don't want to uh, miss out on this opportunity to read a spooky book on a rainy day when I actually have time and I don't want to pick up another book just to read it while it's raining because I'm already invested in this one and I don't do very well reading books concurrently and also I've realized that reading a tiny bit of a book every night draws out the book like draws out the story but it only works in certain situations like certain books I'm okay with doing that but Mostly in the past like few books that I've tried to do this with it's definitely made the experience less enjoyable for me because when I draw it out like that <clears throat> I tend to get bored I guess like even if the story is very interesting and in the moment I'm very interested when I think back on the book I'm like wow I've literally been reading this for like a week and I'm still not done with it and I'm like I've been reading this for several days now like three or four days and I'm only 100 pages in and usually I read 100 pages in an hour so like I feel like it's also slowing me down but um 
yeah, so I think I'm just going to take a few hours today while it's raining after class and binge read as much of this book as I can get through. And then I guess I'll pick it back up at night if I don't finish it today, which I don't think I will. It's kind of long. It's like 400 pages. So um, unless I just have like three or four hours today to sit and read, um, which I might. Depends how interesting this book gets in the next few pages, because uh, if it does, then you know, I'm probably not going to be able to put it down. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on this little decision I'm making to sort of bend the prompt and read it on a rainy day instead of exclusively at night. Um, I don't have any books that actually have werewolves in them, and based on the way that my past two reads have gone, I don't know that I'm going to be able to read a single book exclusively at night unless it's a very short read, so I might have to pick up another like poetry book or something and just leave it by my bed and read that every night. I will see you guys in the next update. <laughs> afternoon um, a little reading update I read a good bit of the shadow of the wind yesterday I'm on page 250 exactly which is the start of chapter 30 um, just about halfway through I think a little bit over halfway through the book um, yeah, in my last update, I think I said that I could read 100 pages in an hour, and <laughs> I did not realize that I could read 100 pages in an hour if I was reading a typical YA fiction, like Chain of Gold, I blew through that in a day, The Infernal Devices, I could reread in a weekend, like, I can read it pretty fast if it's easier to read. This book is quite difficult to read. The vocabulary in this book takes a lot more brain power to understand, um, just the way that the characters talk to each other. Also the storyline is a labyrinth of... I don't even, like, I have to physically write things down to understand this book. Like, I had to text Andre the relationships between the characters so that I could process them. I was like, okay, so this person is related to this person, but is friends with this person and is doing this with this person. And I'm just like, every time you think you're getting out of this little maze, it just goes deeper. And I'm like, struggling to comprehend what's going on. But at the same time, I'm very much enjoying it. Like, it's not bad. It's definitely a very good book. It's just very difficult to read. And so it took me several hours to get to page 250, um, which means this book is going to take longer than expected to finish. I really need to finish this book this weekend because if I don't, it's gonna take me pretty much all of next week. Um, reading on class days is a bit more difficult, so I typically only read at night. And as I said, if I'm reading this book at night, not only am I too tired to comprehend what's going on, also, I'm going to read like 20 pages a night, so I still have like a good 250 pages to go, so I really need to finish this in the next day, and if I don't, we'll see what happens, but that's the goal right now. Hopefully I can get a good bit of reading, maybe 100 pages done tonight, and then I could probably do 150 tomorrow. That's the plan. I'm gonna try to get some stuff done and then hopefully I can have some time to read this book. Also, we are having our first live show tomorrow. It's a bit of a last minute decision, but it's happening tomorrow, October 11th, which has already happened by the time you see this video. But as of right now, tomorrow we are having our first live show. It's gonna be super chill. We're gonna have some reading sprints um, and then like talk about our reads. It's gonna be super fun. I'm very excited. It's gonna be on my channel, so this is all very exciting for me. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So just thought I would update you guys a little bit. I will see you guys soon. day of my week two vlog. I know it's like kind of uneven because I ended last week on Tuesday, but last night I stayed up until nearly 3 a.m. finishing The Shadow of the Wind, so I figured I would just give you my reaction to this book and then end the vlog for this week because so much. Okay.
I finished this book last night and as you guys know last time I updated I was like halfway through and I said it was taking me forever to read it but literally like after things started picking up they picked up and they just kept picking up like whereas Mexican Gothic had like no momentum whatsoever and then it just like crashed this one was like watching a car crash in slow motion but like it was still moving fast if you know what I mean it's like a very long car crash on one hand five stars hands down I would recommend this book to anybody but at the same time I don't want to recommend this book because it made me feel a lot of things and I'm very upset right now so I mean if you want a book that will upset you and also make you laugh at the same time and also probably scare you a little bit definitely read this book because all of the above I didn't know what to expect when I went into this book I just heard it was good and the plot sounded interesting and I was like okay this was literally the perfect month to read this book because it was the spookiest book I've read there were elements that were actually quite terrifying like I was genuinely scared at several moments in this book there were several moments where I was like no don't go in there like don't do that you're being dumb this is like horror movie level like stop going into these creepy places and doing dumb stuff in creepy places like don't go into that house don't go into that basement like stuff like that and also just like genuinely psychologically scary stuff it's like who's stalking him like who is that what's gonna happen like this guy's after him like is he gonna get him when is he gonna get him like all this kind of stuff and then the plot twist oh my god every other page was like genuine like huge reveal i was like how many more reveals can this author fit in this book a lot let me tell you there's a lot of reveals like starting from about the halfway point it's just like so many questions have been introduced that you've forgotten how many questions were introduced so you can't even devote the brain power to i know in some books it's like while you're reading it you're like trying to figure out what's happening and like who the reveal or what the reveal is going to be and it's like you know a short whodunit thing is going to be like oh i think it's this because there's like five suspects and i'm going to guess that it's this person it's not like a simple whodunit it's like there's so many loose strings everywhere that you literally cannot remember how many strings there are so that when the reveals happen you realize you've completely forgotten about trying to solve the mystery and then the reveal happens and you're like <sighs> like thoroughly shaken oh my gosh i was like trying to keep all the characters straight in my head and then whenever the big reveals were happening one by one i was like <laughs> i literally cannot even physically explain or articulate how much this book shocked me like Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was like, okay, I will not lie. It was very long. It was a very long, exhausting read. Um, also, the author's writing style is very much, I don't know if it's just this book because I haven't read any other books by this author, but um, the characters in this book definitely go on tangents a lot. Like there's a lot of stuff that I don't know if it contributed directly to the storyline of the book it definitely contributed to the vibe of the book and like the writing style of the book because like there were a lot of comedic moments where one of the characters would go on like the longest tangents about the most random things like side characters a lot of those there are a lot of those random tangents and i think that's part of why this book is literally so long because there's so many little tangents about random side characters that you never see again but at the same time you cannot distinguish them until the end because there are so many side tangents that you like kind of skim over and then later on you realize that that character is important and you're like oh my god mind blown like that's what that tangent played into so it's kind of like the author is like leaving you false trails like false clues it's like i'm gonna tell you all these backstories and some of them are gonna be important later but you don't know which ones so i'm just gonna overwhelm you with stories until you can figure out what's going on it was amazing it was like so many threads all over the place in such a big maze and you just keep going deeper and deeper and even when you get out you're like did i get out like what happened it's it's like inception but in a book but better. Anyways, that was my very long rambly mini review of The Shadow of the Wind, which was basically this entire vlog. But yeah, that is the end of this vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you've read The Shadow of the Wind, if you enjoyed this vlog, or if you enjoyed this book. Let me know. If you haven't read this book, I highly recommend you read it because it is such a roller coaster ride start to finish, and I mean that in the most literal sense. So let me know if you've read this book down below. I need I need somebody else to like express this with. And as always, don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting new content very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.